This is Hannah, Bully Girl Magazine, and I'm sitting here with C from Crunch Time Bullies, Patterson, New Jersey. Yeah. Doing an interview here for Bully Girl Magazine. Okay. Okay, how many dogs does your kennel consist of? Well, right now, five. Five, five. What bloodlines? Um, I got uh, I got a lot of Gotti dogs and um, some Kingpin line. That's it. Is there any other bloodlines you're looking to incorporate into your kennel? No, not really. I think those got everything I want in a dog. Yeah. What's your ideal bully look like? American bully. What does your ideal dog look like? Thirteen fours. 14 inch, 65 pound, 23, 23 and a half inch head monster. That's I my, hear you. That's, that's what everybody <laughs> wants right now, right? <laughs> I know. I know. Absolutely. Okay, okay. What do you feed your dogs? What type of diet do you keep them on? And why? Well, uh, I go uh, kibble and raw. You know, sometimes I mix it, sometimes I just go back and forth depending on the, the temperature. In the summertime, I do mostly raw because they eat it more. In the wintertime, I go more kibble and pack on the pounds. They devour the raw, huh? Yeah, oh my God. I know that's right. Yeah, shout out to TCB, Raw Tiger. Okay. Yeah. A lot of people don't know where to get that. Well, um, yeah, Tiger Bully. Uh, we, got, uh, we get a shipment every week. Call them up. Okay. What type of meat is incorporated into that dog food? The raw food? Uh, tripe. Tripe and uh, beef. Okay. That's it. Okay. Is there any bone in it? Yeah. Yeah. Small ground up bone. Right. Everything you need. Everything you need. Everything a dog needs and nothing they don't, huh? Yeah. Absolutely. That's absolutely. right. I know that's right. So what what type of characteristics are you looking to reproduce? Bone, head, body. I want to keep that going. Right. You know, and a, and a great rear. You know, people tend to lose that. Mm-hmm. You know, going more front, wide front, they lose the rear. Right. I want to keep that. That's it. Your typical customer, what they, what do they usually ask for? Like, what color, gray or fawn? Or? Most people look, you know, most people in the in the bully game don't care about the color. But uh, people that's being that's newbies, they they tend to like blues. They think blues are bullies. Right. So that's it. Blues, right? They love those. Full blue, blues. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Blue and white, white face, blue body. Right, right. Yeah, right. so fast. Uh, Describe the temperament of your bullies. They great. Uh, hyper though, a little, little hyper. You know. Uh, Overly friendly. Yeah. That's well, what I call it. Okay, okay, <laughs> okay. Better word. Also, okay. Also better word. Mm -hmm. But uh, they great. You know, I have them in my home. They go with my kids. Family pet. Family, great dogs. Mm -hmm. That's why I choose them. Right. Aim to please their master, right? Absolutely. First and foremost. Absolutely. Right. Absolutely. And my partner. They're zero aggressive. No, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Like sometimes I wish they were more aggressive. I hear you. But you can't. You can't. They'll lick a burglar yeah, to death. Absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. You got to get a German Shepherd to guard them. Right, right. You know? Um, it's crazy. Yeah, absolutely. But you know, there's a lot of families that want to buy too, and that's the first thing they look for, correct? Yeah, absolutely. Because they get a bad rap. Yeah, but you know what? You know what? That's that's just people that's ignorant. Ignorance. You know? And, totally uh, agree. You know, to some people, ignorance is bliss, so they just they go on with that. You know, we're here to try to change all of that thinking. Absolutely, that's why I bring up Bully Girl magazine, bringing the inform information to the people. Right, right. Yeah. 
Do you attend any shows around the country? Yeah, I try to get to uh, as many as possible. Yeah, as though I'm, in, I'm on the East Coast. Most shows is on the West or South. You know, we have a few. If we have any up here, I, I attend all of them. Any of the Jersey shows, Connecticut, you know, uh, South Jersey. Any of your bullies ready for the ring? I got maybe two, two, two upcomers. Okay. Up and coming females that uh, that's that's something to reckon with. Right, right. Yeah. We're keeping them under wraps right now. Okay. But uh, we won't make you come out here <laughs> now. No, no, okay. no. Keeping no, no, them under wraps right there. Okay. You know, some people know them, some don't, but uh, I don't, I don't bring them out yet. They're not quite ready. Still working with them. Yeah, absolutely. You exercise them. Yeah, I've been every day. Right, right. Every day. I hear you. What's the most important thing that you've learned by dealing with this breed? It ain't for everybody. Mm -hmm. It's a job. It's a big, big responsibility. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it, responsibility. I, 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 I can't, I can't say that enough. It's a lot to take care of these dogs. You know, it's not just getting a dog and. Throw them in the yard and feeding them. Right, right. There's a lot right. more to it. Do you have a motto that you live by? Live and let live. That's a good one. Yeah. What do you think about Bully Girl Magazine? I love it. I love it. You know, uh, I like what they're doing with the magazine. I like how it's, 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 it's getting better mm -hmm. and better every time, every issue. It's getting better. I love it. Shout out to my boy Laval. All right. Bully Girl Mag, that's what's up.